So we're gonna go over how to remove your, or replace your rotor here, doesn't matter what size it is. First off, you're gonna replace or remove your skewer here. Now you got two little springs, a little spring on this end, spring on this end, so be careful when you remove everything. But you can go ahead, hold and hold one side and spin the other. So I'm gonna hold the right side and spin this side. And then your right side is gonna have the end cap with a cone-shaped spring. Hang on to that. Those guys hit the floor and take off running. This one's gonna have a spring as well. And they are cone-shaped, so the cone shape is always pointing inward, these little cone springs. Minor detail, but it could cause an issue trying to get that wheel back inside the dropouts. I've had seen that happen before. So go ahead and keep those springs together, put that cap back on so you don't lose those guys. 